Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Lux, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. Saw a lot of stuff in the last episode. I'll just quickly uh, summarize some of the things that we saw. Uh, Kara saw that Todd is taking drugs and he's was acting like super agitated. We discovered his gun in his room, and we also found a way out of the house uh, through this window. I think that's going to be important because something big is about to go down. Alice did trust us with the uh, key to her personal stuff, where we saw a picture of Alice's mother, and it looked like she was in uh, a hospital gown, so she probably passed away from something. And then we saw um, a picture of Alice injured, a drawing that she made. And uh, finally, we saw a drawing of Todd destroying Kara. So clearly that's what happened. Uh, I'm not sure what resulted in that, but Todd is the one that uh, destroyed us. And that's how we had to get fixed. Um, what's our objective right now? Ask Todd for new instructions. We've cleaned up the upstairs. So uh, unfortunately, we have to go speak to Todd. Oh, what's this? Checking out the books. Looks like there's nothing special there. I didn't really look into the washroom, did we? <laughs> Just a bit of a blank look, eh? Oh, we might as well tidy this stuff up, too. Since we're here. What's this? Oh, we can mop up. Oh, that's the uh, touchpad. Okay. It's a bit... I don't know if I'm doing this properly. Oh, it's I'm doing it too fast. More of like a steady, a steady up and down. Okay. Hopefully, hopefully he'll be happy with us. Um, I'm really afraid what direction this is going to go in. Is this the way back? Yeah. Wait, what's in here? Oh, that was the washroom that Todd came out of, right? Before? Okay, so it looks like we nailed all the, all the optional tasks. It's really interesting that this game is... Um, Getting us to do this, kind of putting in, us in the mindset of what it would be like to be this android, right? And just serving people. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. Oh, God. I know what you're thinking. You think your dad's a low life? Huh? Fucking loser? Can't get a job? Take care of his family? Don't you think I tried to make things work? I think the death of his wife probably drove well, whatever him to I this, do, but... when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! It's no excuse. I know what you think of me. You hate me. Oh my god. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! Jeez. God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. There's something behind those eyes. That didn't go the way I thought it would. I thought we'd, uh... I thought we'd end up having to run or something just based on what we found. And we just about found, we just about did everything. Looks like I missed a couple of things. But uh, it's probably because I was trying to avoid Todd. World stats. It's always interesting to see who found the same stuff as me. It looks like everyone just about found everything. Okay, let's continue. November 5th, 2038. Who are we going to be playing as now? Probably Marcus, right? We're on the bus. And we got, like, samples of the paint. It's a nice place. A lot different from Todd's house. Deposit package. All 
Alright. Jeez. Zebra pelt. Wait, Carl upstairs. Let's look around a bit first. It's kind of neat. I don't know if I'd want to lie my back against that painting, though. Weird place to put it. We can open this? Is there a bird in there? There is. Oh, it's uh, android, an android bird. Of course there would be pets like that. Huh. I wonder if there is a lack of real animals. So many things to look at. Got breakfast here, I guess. How long has that been sitting there for? Take traded dining table. Okay. Who's here? Is there anyone? What a oh, what a cool room. Unless those are stuffed animals. Dead stuffed animals. That's not so cool. Let's see if there's anything to look at in here. Lots of stuff, okay. Checkmate in three moves for silver. Quick, in the comment section, tell me what the moves are. I used to do that as a child. I don't know if you guys ever did that or if you had like a globe. I used to spin the globe really fast and then put my finger down in a spot. And uh, just see where it ended up. And that's like a place that I'd say I, I would travel to when I was older. Really in love with their animal pelts. Oh, those skulls are cool. There's all kinds of different art styles here. Or if I can go over here. Try. It's this pile of books. Probably supposed to stop me from going up the stairs, right? What's this? Oh, cool. Oh, man. I want a room like this for sure. Workshop. So... The paints were for artistic painting. We interact with here. Such a cool atmosphere. Oops. I kind of like when I like if I have like a 
workshop or something like that. I kind of like that it's a bit messy. Kind of inspires creativity. For me, anyways. I hear some people. Is there someone out there? Sounds like some kids. And a dog, maybe? What is this? It's something, no, it's not something we can interact with. I don't know what that is. There's something over here. It's canvases. What's behind this curtain? I wonder if we can pull that. Looks like a massive painting. Maybe a work in progress. Doesn't look like we can uh, see what it is though. Maybe later on. Okay, let's go upstairs. Oh, there's something here though. Oh, something else to read. Nice, I love reading this stuff. The North Pole, why Russia wants it. Bonus culture, why bankers pay themselves so much. Is President Warren too close to cyber life? Uh, let's check out page one. The North Pole, why, Re why Russia wants it. Frozen treasures. Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious materials trapped in the frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing Ethereum. Android manufacture increasingly dominates both the U.S. and Russian economies. But this isn't just about GDP surplus. Ethereum reserves would allow either nation to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. I guess that's kind of what's going on here. Like Detroit has kind of hit rough times with the um, manufacturing industry, especially like car manufacturing industry, kind of on the decline in the States. Well, not kind of, it actually is on decline. And maybe the uh, Android manufacturing industry took off in the US and that's why Detroit is kind of seeing another uh, renaissance. Add to this the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe through Norway and Denmark, Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of a peaceful resolution to the dispute starts to seem unlikely. But a spokesperson for NATO is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. President Warren, however, recently torpedoed the notion. It's simple. Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, we will make them understand. Some tough talk. Detroit today. Life found on Titan. Evidence for alien life grows. President Warren to make state visit to United Kingdom. NATO Security Council divided over Arctic dispute. Talking about the Arctic dispute again. Okay. Evidence for alien life grows. The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane ice, has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface. In an ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice. After similar microbial matter was found on uh, Enceladus, another satellite of Saturn, it seems increasingly possible that life is common in the universe. A NASA spokesman responded to this story, uh, responded to this story has stated, the latest in a series of pointers to life on other planets. Our Android expedition to Io is one among many such voyages that carry a prime objective of uncovering extraterrestrial life forms. Jason Graff, director of humani humanitization, humanization at CyberLife, said the company was committed to its partnership with NASA. Our spacefaring androids are specially designed to function on long-range missions of this kind. We are proud to have our models at the frontier of human exploration. Right. I love getting all the flavor for this world, just to see what's going on. It's not that far into the future, too. 
I'm curious to know if you guys think this is possible, like that this could happen in what is it, like 20 years, basically. It seems like a lot. We'd have to make a lot of advancements to get this far. But uh, I don't know. Might be possible. I guess you can't go up there yet. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's probably for a disabled person, right? Maybe an older person. You can go up the stairs. Which way should we go? Let's go this way first. Also, is there anything to check out? Doesn't look like there's anything up here. Draw curtains. One way to wake someone up. To let some light in. Uh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. Hmm. Where's the medicine? Over there, okay. Yeah, it looks like he's confined to a wheelchair. your arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Thank you. Oh, nice. It's uh, Lance Henriksen. Hmm. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Looks like he's got kind of like okay. a zebra-ish tattoo on his arm. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Where does he want to go? Dining table, of course. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Oh, neat. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Any news from Leo? 
No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, don't bother. I think the table's over here, right? I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. That was ready before we left. <laughs> How long is it sitting there for? It'd be pretty cold. Television. That's actually a big thing in Canada. It's Arctic sovereignty between Russia and Canada. So it's kind of interesting that they're that's a thing in uh, in this game too. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. Kind of looked everywhere already. Find something to do. Can't go that way. I think I was supposed to do all that stuff after. <laughs> I love doing stuff in the wrong order, though. Play chess? Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Okay, let's see if you got the right uh, moves. Oh, okay, I see. We reset it. Fancy game of chess. Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, I don't have to pick the moves. Let's go... Uh... Oh, I didn't get to pick. Let's go draw. That is a very odd draw. Well, I know that you don't like to lose, but you don't like it when I let you win either. A draw feels like an honorable compromise, no? I don't think he likes that. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Oh, whoops. That's weird. Hold on a second. I don't know why that disconnected. Um, there we go. Sorry about that. Where do we want to go? I really want to see what this is. Maybe here? Ah! Is that a wrench? <laughs> Painting with a wrench? That is really Let's see cool. where we left off. Remove the sheet. We're just waiting. Working on the ear.
Couldn't tell if that was, um... Is that us, maybe, or him? Couldn't tell. It looks like it could be a painting of us, of so, Marcus. What's your verdict, Marcus? I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Sounds like he's got lots me. to say. Let's see if you have any talent. Ah, here we Give go. Give it a try. Try uh -oh. painting something. <laughs> Uh-oh. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> Seem to like those birds. Maybe we can paint those. Find a subject to paint. Statue. The desks. The desk is boring. Paint Carl's painting. Definitely. We're definitely painting Carl's painting. It's like an exact replica. That is a perfect copy of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting and improving on it that's what i was kind of hoping we do showing something you see carl i don't think i can do that it's not in my program i go on go try it grab that canvas i don't think it would have mattered i think we would have replicated whatever we saw um realistically do something for me close your eyes Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. Oh, we're going yellow. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Identity. Prisoner. Hmm. Let's go. Prisoner. Let's see what comes up. We could kind of use our own uh, strokes for this one and have to just follow what, what they told us because it's kind of like that's what we're supposed to be doing, right? Not just following instructions. Oh my god. Hey, Dad. It's going to be the deadbeat son. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? Uh-oh. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> He's going to be strung out on something, uh, right? I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, <laughs> it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No, 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 I swear it's not that. Or if it's no, the same thing lie, Todd was really taking. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? 
You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's a god that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. This is really interesting. It's, um... It feels a bit different from the other David Cage games, because it's like a series of, uh... It feels like a TV show, almost, you know? Like... Um... Because a lot of the other David Cage games just, like, had a lot of action. Like, there would be, like, a scene like this, and then they'd end with action. This is very much just, like, a meditation on... On, uh, what this world is like. So far. I mean, it might, it might change. Let's take a look here. Did all the stuff. Got a couple of other options to pick for activities. And those have different options. That's cool. I'm not one. I'm not the kind of person that usually plays through games multiple times to see different outcomes. But I'm always tempted to try it. Copy Carl's painting. Yeah, copy, right? Identity and prisoner. Leo intruded to ask for money. I guess that's always the outcome there, because it just um, funnels down to this. And I, I don't know, like, I kind of... This graph, it's like, it's here, and it's kind of cool to see how you can get to different outcomes and, like, the paths that you miss. But I kind of would... Like, the option to turn it off, maybe, the first run, and then you take a look at it afterwards... I don't know. I guess I could just skip it and not look. Hmm. Wonder what's gonna happen next. November fifth, twenty thirty-eight. He's back. <laughs> okay. I I'm, I think this takes place after. No androids allowed. Well, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We're going to see what happens uh, to Connor in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luckless Lovelock signing off for now, and I love you all.